four. Their second game was against Michigan State. Now, if Michigan State wins, that means Ohio State is done for. It's a one nothing game here with Ohio State with the lead. Beautiful bunt by Young there. And Corey Young helps tie things up at one. This is Matt Byers in the bottom of the third. He finds space in the right field side. The Spartans take the lead at this point, two to one, as Jordan Zimmerman comes on in to score. Top of the fourth, still two to one. Two on and one out for Jalen Washington. On a one-two pitch, he gives a right to second base. That's an easy out, but the run does score, so we're tied back up again at two. To the ninth inning we go, we're still tied at two. One on, one out for Corey Young. Grounds it right back to the pitcher, and there's really nothing the base runner could have done here. No, I mean, he was a good secondary shuffle, which means after a decent lead from second, a good shuffle, second baseman was already there. But for Ohio State to have great communication, get the out in just three throws on the pickle, get it to second base, double play. They get a double play. And that allows this to happen. In extra innings, Ronnie Dawson. The solo shot to right, and the Buckeyes take the lead in overtime. Bottom of the 10th now, all they got to do is hold on to it. Michigan State's down. They get a man on, and Jordan Zimmerman's up. Oof, not the best of at-bats for Zimmerman. Next batter is Dan Durkin. Durkin, a little bit of contact. But he flies out fairly lazily to center field, and that means two outs which means Matt Byers is all that Michigan State has. And Byers, pretty much the same thing. Fly ball to center and that's it. That's all. The Buckeyes win three to two in 10 innings. And that means after getting two wins on the day, they now move on Sunday and hope to get two more wins because they will play at 10 a.m. Eastern time again against Michigan State in a loser is done for game. Which means, by the way, they got 13 hours to rest up for this sucker. Scott Pose talking to the Buckeyes after their second win of the day. Got a couple of stars that had a hand in their victory. First is Ronnie Dawson, who has come up big all tournament long for the Buckeyes. Ronnie, tell us about the mindset of the Buckeyes. As you came back today, you knew you had to win two. What were you guys thinking as you were heading to the park? Um, don't quit. You know, you know we had to play two games. Um, we had to get the first one. We had to play Michigan. We had to finish that game. Um, that, was a big, that was the most important right there. We got that win, then we had to come play Michigan State. And we just had to win, you know, win each game. Well, and when you did, tell us what you were thinking when you were heading to the plate in the 10th. You know you had to score a run. You got it done with one swing. Yeah. What was your mindset? Just get a good pitch to hit. Um, next man mentality. You know, I just wanted to get on. Um, I happened to get a good swing on um, slider. He left it up. Um, you know, got a chance to hit it out, had to hit it out the park. Did you know it was gone as soon as you hit it? Not, not exactly. I thought, at first, I thought I hit it good, but it, um, it went really high. I was like, I might not get out, but then I saw the um, right fielder on the track. I was like, it's a good chance of going out. But we've been swinging a hot bat. I hope it continues. We want to talk to you, Yanni. Yanni Pavopoulos has 13 saves on the year, now 14, counting this one. Tell us about the mindset when you take the mound with a game on the line. Um, you know, it's always a it's always a close game, and uh, your first thing you got to think about is just throwing first pitch strikes. You know, I walked the, uh, the leadoff guy there at the inning. That's a big no-no, but we were, I was thankful to get out of it, you know, for sure. Well, you've overcome some adversity, and I know as a closer you have to have a short memory. You right. had a tough game yesterday, but then you get the ball, you come back. Right. How good's that feel for the coach, Coach Beals, to give you the ball and say, here it is, we got to win, go get it? If, I mean, it feels great to, you know, have my teammates and my coaches trust in me like that, especially after a tough day yesterday. But, um, you know, I'm thankful to get the ball back in that situation, and I'm glad it uh, worked out well. Well, congratulations to you guys on a great victory today. I know it's not easy in that lower bracket, but you've battled back, and you've got a potential for two tomorrow. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you.